Okay, Coach, can you start with just giving us your assessment of the 90 minutes? Uh, finally, I th at the end, um, the two two ways to look at this game. I think it was for us uh, too bad that uh, that we played. Finally, we we get with 10 players because we struggled a little bit in the beginning, but then we find slowly the the spaces and we start playing football. And I think we were ready to give uh, to to. To, to play the football we wanted to play. And at the moment we started to do that, um, I think uh, we, we play with 10 men. The, and from that bar, and from that moment, you know, you have to, you have to realize as a, as a group that individuals cannot win a game, only groups can win games. And um, we, we played the 8th, the 8th of um, March, we played Bloemfontein. We had a good performance. After that, Bloemfontein, uh, we didn't do more than five, five months nothing, so f of nothing but no games. And for, uh, the 14th of uh, August, we started again. Then you play four games in 10 days. But I also mentioned it to them the way they grew to each other already before we we finished, uh, we, we, we stopped the, the competition, but also the Bloemfontein. The, the, the group was growing to each other as a team. and. Um, Everybody, we, everybody, of course, have different backgrounds, and uh, but they we work very hard to get everybody together. And I must make my team, my assistant coaches, uh, the physical staff, the the, the supporting staff, um, our our chairman John Comites. I must. They had to believe that we get out of this in just making making a team a team and not uh, uh, individuals. So I think that's what you saw today. The team won. Uh, the, this game by fighting uh, more than uh, the mind is stronger than the body. That's almost the mirror what we saw uh, today. And we got almost the, big, the biggest opportunities with Greg and uh, Kermit. Okay. Uh, any questions? Yes, uh, Julian. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Good afternoon, coach, or well, good evening, rather. Uh, a very good performance or gutsy performance, if you like, from your team. Uh, fantastic defensive in the last uh, 30 minutes. Uh, now, coach, you've won uh, three games out of four in the bubble. Uh, how are you going? How are you planning on keeping your players humble? Because, you know, they, 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 they sense to be yeah, that type of arrogance, you know, when a team is on a high. So what, 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 what are your plans on ensuring that your team uh, remain humble in the next couple of days, I think, or next couple of games, rather. Uh, what are you going to do to keep them grounded and not be uh, big-headed or arrogant? Yeah, um, I yeah. can say, of course, that, that that that's not the attitude of our players. Yeah, that's the basic attitude is they, they work hard in the training, even after the first two matches. We They are they are really a very, very close team. Also, um, the, 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 all the individuals together, um, they are very good outside of the pitch. Uh, so if I say now no, that I'm not afraid of that and I lose, then probably um, your question is right. But um, to be honest, uh, for me as a coach, it's a beautiful team. It's a team that's that's going for the highest. And um, of course, we want to be with the first eight. We're still not there. So they know. They know we're not with the first eight. There are a lot of teams close to each other. And... Um, I, I I know that we implement in the in the brain of the team that we we have to give everything. We have uh, errors in Highland now, and then we finish of course with Super Sport. But those are our d direct rivals for those positions. So it, I think it's it's our job to to show it show them what what uh, what are the challenges for the next two games. But uh, to be honest, I trust my group, and that's maybe. Um, but the biggest thing a coach can complement a group of. Okay, next question. Coach, uh, just just about the, the team effort that the, that the boys put in. You know, obviously you mentioned how many games you've played in the last few days and it's a physical toll when it is 10 men. But that uh, mental strength, um, do you think it'll actually carry, carry you on to a better results in the future? Yeah, 100%. I think that's the in every team sport the basic um, how you act together outside of the pitch and in the pitch and outside of the pitch. Of course, you can sometimes control a little bit better, but there 
you say the, the 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 basics are there that you will see in the pitch how they feel how they support each other even the the players understand it was a it's amazing and again we 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 started this five months also by by training the maximum we didn't do trainings outside we always stayed in the rules we trained at one moment five times a week with zoom meetings and from six to nine they run outside so we had three times zoom meetings three times we run outside and they all did it and uh, they they made a great great effort the last five months and, and the most difficult uh, phase of course of uh, what, what we can have okay next question uh, Spiewe from Front Runner. Uh, coach, you didn't have a very good start uh, when you came to South Africa. What do you think was the turning point for you to, to start uh, getting results uh, for your team? Um, of course, it's uh, the, if, if you get a, your coach and uh, um, if you if you come in new into a team, then you know, of course you have diff there are different rules, there are different things I don't say better again or uh, but different everybody has to get used to it I'm Dutch so I think Dutch I act Dutch and as we have to you have to as a group and as a coach you have to know each other as a group as, as a staff we have to know each other and uh, that that takes time that's logic and um, uh, with the help of everybody um, I think we grew uh, outside of the place we grew as a staff as the people who support and uh, yeah, that always is a process and to be honest that it was not always v very stable there were also uh, hard words and hard moments uh, i think the choice after new year uh, to to make a more stable midfield with um, roland and uh, and po and tabo uh, where you play more almost more with three not, not defensive but more controlling midfield players and uh, we didn't play with a uh, tabo of course can be offensive but uh, you can also play with the 10 but then we we really emphasized on getting the points and from from that moment we get the points that always gives the team the security but um again uh, they, they they are just a fantastic bunch of guys and uh, you know as a coach you can guide them but they have to do it and this and the, i must also say the staff we grew together people around the club uh, the chairman has a big inf a big influence but he's close to everybody and i like that very much Okay, next question. You paid the internet? <laughs> yeah. Okay, no more questions. Last chance. Coach, uh, nope. just uh, one more, just a word about uh, Kermit. Um, obviously, this is now the season that he's scored the most in his career. It's always been a promising career, um, but he hasn't always, um, he's gone to clubs, not always played a lot. Whenever he's played, though, he has scored goals. Do you think that's sometimes the case in a footballer like someone like him? Yeah, I mean that that's, uh, he has those exceptional qualities, and um, well, of, of course, if, you know what? It's important that that if if you play the ball, if we play the ball from the left side, we know that surprise can betray, can play in between the lines. So we know that we have to play him the ball in uh, in his foot, and then he can make his action. And he is a genius. Hey, for example, on the right side, the Fakhri is there. We have to try to play the ball behind the defense. And that happens also with Kermit. The, the team, we showed him a lot of moments every time in the game that we didn't play the ball to him. And he he is also now focusing only at the the, the, the uh, his, his striker position and the, the the space behind the defense of the, the opponents and not any more, more uh, too much in the midfield. Uh, he's very dangerous for us and he's he has the feeling to score the goal so i think the team use him um on his exceptional qualities but that it's more for more players okay i think that's it thank you coach